Use this animation guide only as a reminder. For complete insertion instructions, please refer to the full prescribing information. Use a septic technique during the entire insertion procedure. After opening the pouch one-third of the way, release the threads from the flange and place the rod into the insertion tube. Holding the insertion tube and the rod firmly at the bottom end where the tube meets the rod, pull the blue threads downward with the other hand to draw the IUS into the tube. The IUS arm should now be in a closed position with the knobs protruding slightly from the top of the tube. Maintaining a firm pinch of the insertion tube and rod with one hand, move the flange so that the top aligns with the sounded uterine depth. It's important to adjust the IUS to ensure the knobs achieve a rounded end, slightly protruding from the tip of the tube like a hemispherical dome. Once the correct position has been achieved, pinch and hold the lower end of the tube where the tube meets the rod. Note, the top of the rod should be touching the bottom of the IUS. The lower end of the tube should align with the first top indent of the rod. While maintaining a firm pinch on the insertion tube and the rod, advance the loaded IUS insertion tube through the cervical canal. Stop when the flange is about one and a half centimeters to two centimeters from the cervix. Remember, do not fully advance the IUS to the fundus or the flange to the cervix at this step. Holding the rod still, release the pinch and pull the insertion tube back to the second bottom indent of the rod. Wait 10 to 15 seconds for the arms to fully open. Then advance both the insertion tube and the rod to the fundus. Holding the rod still, pull the insertion tube over the rod all the way down to the ring on the rod. You should feel a pop, which signifies that the IUS has been released from the insertion tube. Hold the insertion tube still. Remove the rod entirely before withdrawing the insertion tube from the uterus and cervix. Take appropriate measures to cut the blue threads perpendicular to the thread length, leaving about 3 cm visible outside the cervix. The insertion of Avibella is now complete.